Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Get Ligma. What's, uh, what's Ligma? Ligma yeah. balls, dude. Get fucking owned, Get wrecked! I'm living in it. Wow, what an adventure it's been. The Texas Z House came back together, and y'all know what that means. We, we did some crazy shit. We went to Six Flags. Come on, JC, where's the, where's the video? We went tubing. I played Beat Saber. But most importantly... You wanna know my favorite... Moose. You wanna know what my favorite video game is? Pokemon. Yeah. Pokeballs. The Venom trailer dropped. The World War II summer event dropped. Uh, this happened. And even the blackout teaser dropped. We, we, we discussed that, bitch. Alright, so we're here with everyone in Chucky. Woo! He's right there. Yeah. He's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. New weapons, new equipment, I would expect <laughs> Oh, oh shoot. Oh, oh there's that was the Diego! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Can you snipe Diego? What what Rick told him? Like what? Yeah. Dang. Yo, what? Wow. Yeah. Blackout dude. Woo! That was for, that was the first gameplay we've ever seen. Wow. Dude. Yeah. 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 Bumped down the quality to see all the details. <laughs> It's huge, bro. <laughs> huge logo. There's Ray, dude. That's Ray. That's Ray. That's Ray. Yeah. Wait, was that that's Rick? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. that's Rick. Yeah, that's Diego. Yeah, that's Diego. Yeah, that's Diego. <laughs> Donked. Bro. <laughs> oh, Zombies. Oh, my God. Zombies. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Zombies. Yeah. Blackout. Blackout. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Fortnite. We got it. Also, uh, remember ZWC? That shit is coming up too, so, uh, play that shit! Zombie World Championship? Two to the one, from the one to the three I like good pussy and I like good trees Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe And I get more ass than a toilet seat I'm, I'm, get, I'm gonna be in that, so you should look, you should look it up Weeks and weeks! Springfield? <laughs> <laughs> you were not supposed to see that. Why did that just happen? That was alright, give it a 6 out of 10. And man, that's only the tip of the iceberg, but it's about time we get to the point, uh, the actual point of the video, the Blackout meta. Now, quite frankly, I'm excited for Blackout. Maybe even a tad bit more than Zombies, just because of how unpredictable it will be, and much of that is based on the meta. I tweeted out how I'm slowly losing interest into Fortnite solely because of the meta, and y'all just ate that shit up. Like, look at the retention on that tweet. God damn, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, the point I'm trying to make here is that if a game is boring or it has a predictable meta and a meta is kind of like the way the game runs the game dies fast look at overwatch mercy's moth meta where they completely reworked her settings and the way she worked completely destroyed the game and made her an absolute mandatory pick which made a ton of people quit look at fortnite this new smg spam meta is making the skill gap non-existent especially when you don't even have to aim like look at these clips man Yes! Okay, got him, got him. Finally, let's look at Blackout. Now, there's two main things, in my opinion, that scare me in terms of the meta, and I hope to God I'm wrong. Vehicles, and you guessed it, supply drops. Let's talk about vehicles first. Now, what makes the new land, sea, and air vehicles so unpredictable in Call of Duty is that it's never really been done before outside of games like Battlefield. The closest we've ever had to vehicles in a Call of Duty game were tanks all the way back in Call of Duty World at War, which are
are crazy overpowered, but then we have some of the exact opposite where it just really wasn't that good in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 within this one MP map that was a DLC 3 or 4, I can't remember, but they had these little walking events, things from Dead Ops Arcade, whatever, whatever the fuck that is, but nobody used them. And then you got the planes in World War 2, but uh, World War 2 uh, dead game. But then you also have another game like Fortnite where its vehicles seem fairly balanced and it's not really the main transportation method. Unlike the Blackout trailer where almost every single shot we've seen, it looks like the new game mechanic will be operating vehicles, which may turn out to be an awful thing, especially if it provides the option to camp inside the vehicle and just wait for a victory. In Fortnite, this is also a problem and it's known as turtling, where you just sit in a little one by one you make. And Blackout might have something similar with vehicles, where you can just camp up in the sky with a chopper or sit in the sea with a raft. Especially with a lower player count than Fortnite, this could be a serious issue. A good sign that vehicles will be balanced though is that you can shoot them. We did see in the trailer that two of these people are carrying an LMG and an assault rifle and they gun down an ATV like it's nothing. So that's nice to see that it doesn't take too much to take out a vehicle. So I believe in Treyarch honestly to make these balance patches and make them quickly so that it doesn't ruin our gameplay experience. However, the one thing that Treyarch does not have control over is the second thing that I mentioned which could influence a meta and that is microtransactions. You would think that this year's E3 with all of the steering clear of season passes and microtransactions would have convinced Activision to 100% stop anything game breaking coming out but Apparently not. The Black Ops Pass has returned. Prestige Edition bundles are back. Gaming statues for $250 a piece have shown us the Activision. Boy, they ain't backing down for shit. So what does this really mean? Well, let's look at the history. Let's look at Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3's multiplayer has been considered a good standout from its predecessors in the Black Ops franchise. But was it for the wrong reasons? It was known for introducing pay-to-play weapons that received high amounts of negative feedback, which Activision completely completely negated and threw out the window. On top of that, it now has almost as many locked microtransaction guns as there are guns in the base game, which is ridiculous. What's to say that Activision won't do this in Black Ops 4? Not much, really. Even games like Modern Warfare Remastered were polluted with multiple microtransactions, which completely changed the way the game felt. And then this continued also onto Infinite Warfare and World War II. Granted, they did cut back a lot in World War II, especially for zombies, but was that only because the sales were low, or did Activision really change? It's hard to say, but for the amount that you can buy right now for Black Ops 4 without the game being fully released, I'd be putting my money on them releasing microtransactions out the wazoo. And if Treyarch lets such a decision pass by them where the game is influenced by meta because microtransactions are low, it's gonna be bad. Especially in a BR mode where every small detail can completely change how the game functions. And if that happens, this game is doomed. There is really no hope if Activision add any new powerful guns, kill streaks, or vehicle enhancements whatsoever. The only customization we know so far is that the character have multiple different skins even from the zombies mode and previous zombie games which is pretty cool but what is to say that history will repeat itself again where they tell us that it's only going to be cosmetics and then they release game breaking shit Activision if you are listening please for the love of god don't do this shit don't add anything in the blackout mode leave it as is don't add microtransactions other than cosmetics please for the love of god I don't want to go back to playing Fortnite not again baby I don't care if you pollute the multi Player. I don't care if you pollute zo well I, I do care if you pollute zombies but don't do that just leave blackout untouched because that game mode is really something you cannot fuck with with DLC weaponry but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe what you think about what's going on I don't know if I'm really in accordance with all the DLC that's going to be happening with this game I think for zombies it's going to be fine it's not going to be anything gobble gums but it's going to be interesting to see how they do it I just hope that the DLC is not ridiculous and that is only cosmetic. <laughs>